Hi, my name is Tim and welcome to the channel. Today, what I want to talk about is the need for having a, your operating system on this uh, SD card, micro SD card right there. And we'll, we'll uh, take a look at it once you download it. We'll power up Raspberry Pi and then we'll take a look in the terminal and uh, some tools that you can use to check out some information about the uh, bookworm. All right, let's take a look at it. So one of the first things I do is I check the SD card's health. So before I use the card, I want to make sure that the sectors are healthy. So I'm using my uh, Mac OS to run the uh, first data on it. And you can see here it's successful. So we'll take it out and then we'll put Bookworm OS on it. So to format your card, you can use the RPI imager or you can use an SD card formatter. Here you want to choose the overwrite format button. Next, we're going to use the Pi Imager to flash the Bookworm operating system. And here it's self-explanatory, so just follow along. And now what we're going to do is use sudo raspy config to open up a tool. And just follow along. If you need to, slow the video speed down. Once you're done rebooting, then enter these commands and that's it. And now we're going to inspect the bookworm OS on the micro SD card. And this is going to list out the uh, partition one on the SD card, which ho houses the uh, boot firmware. And then what we'll do is we'll take a look here. It gives us size, what's used, available, where it's mounted on, the percentage that's used. Here is dev forward slash. This is the second partition. And that has the root on it. And that's where the bookworm OS is located on. Then I'm going to show you the GUI real quick. And here we have the file system. And we go down to home. Pretty much the same thing, but in a GUI format. Now we're going to go deep dive with the LS BLK. So I'm using a pipe with grep. And you can see there. And what I'm showing you here is that I have a micro SD card that's mounted on that mount point and I have a NVMe SSD. Now this is the LSBLK, but what you can do, there are other options that you can put in that will do a deep dive into your, um, your block there. So it's showing on the SD card, the size, the file site type, and also the type. You can see there that there's lots of options. And so we'll add a mount point. And at the end, when you do a comma right after type and put mount um, 
point, then you do not want to put a comma at the end. It just won't work. No big deal. You can go back and take the comma out. And so you can just keep diving and adding on stuff. So far we have name size, file size type, uh, mount point. And if you wanted to add some other stuff, all you have to do is just uh, write LSBLK and then a space and double hyphen help. Now here I'm adding type and the UUID. Yeah, so pretty interesting stuff. And it'll list out a bunch of information for you. And then when you run your operating system, you know, after you do a bunch of uh, updates and upgrades, you can go back in and take a look at your file system. Um, again, you can run um, some commands like the df-h, which will give you some good information. So good tool to use.